is, you know, at first you can obviously tell that it is a van, but it's very sporty, it's very trendy, it's not like your standard minivan, which is really nice. Yeah, if you look at it from the side, it, um, it's, it's very, very similar to the body style of like a Toyota Highlander, um, or, you know, not, not really an escape so much because it's not, it's not that's too short. Check out this front area right here. Shifter's been moved uh, on these. It's no longer a column shifter um, like you're used to in vans. A lot of Chrysler products, including the trucks, have went to the shifter. Uh, I personally like it. Um, they're less prone to break than you know yanking on the the handle up here, um, and it also frees up you know space down here by not having the. Um, the uh, so it's very, there's, there's tons of room in here. There's room to, uh, I know a lot of ladies who get cars complain that there's nowhere to put their purse, especially when they have passengers. Uh, there's a great, great spot uh, right here in the floor uh, in the center console that's kind of like out of the way from everything. It's not blocking anything. Uh, just a great spot to, to store stuff in. Um, there's, a, there's a lot of female customers that that's a, it's a big issue. And I'll tell you another thing too that I like about this too, Brandon, is and you can see in the in this here behind us all the space in the back. So you have captain's chairs in the middle, and then you have a full bench in the back. Well, as you notice back there, the headrests are folded down. So for women like me who are short, um, short. <laughs> that don't have people in the car, you can fold the headrest down, and you still have great visibility off yeah, of that. Yeah, you guys got the perfect view in the camera. You're sitting right below the rear view mirror, and there's just you know, great openness, uh, which you'll find in a lot of that third row SUV vehicles, like Tashina's saying, the headrest really impede, um, impede those abilities, so um, great open view, and you can see the side um, windows there, and there's not, there's not really any huge blind spots in this vehicle. And it also has the easiest stow and go system that Chrysler's ever had. Absolutely. Uh, so, a uh, cool thing about the Pacifica that uh, if you're familiar with the Grand Caravan or the uh, Town and Country, uh, stowing the middle seats can be a little bit tedious if the front seats were power uh, because it takes so long. You have to open up the front door and scoot the seats all the way forward to be able to stow the seats. Well, uh, Chrysler fixed that on uh, Pacificas with power front seats. Uh, there is a one-touch button that you press, and it uh, moves the seat up automatically for you. And so you're able to do everything from the back. Uh, and then when you're done, you just push that button again, and it takes the seats right back to um, the, uh, the position it was originally. So you don't have to readjust seats and worry about all of that stuff. Um, it's a really cool feature for one touch just to be able to do it quickly. I think another feature that I like about the captain's chairs in the middle that I'd like to point out is um, the easy access to the back. You know, you can get through in the center with smaller children, but let's say you have someone that wants to get in the back and they don't want to go through the center of the seats. There's a handle at the top of the seat and you literally pull the lever and the full seat rocks forward for easy access to the back seat, which is perfect for people getting in and out of the back or if you have an infant child and you don't want to remove the whole seat just to let someone get in. You can just rock it forward. Just, uh, just sold a Pacifica to uh, a family, and they, that was their issue. They have uh, children in three car seats, uh, so two are in the, in the captain's chairs in the middle, uh, and so that pass-through feature is really uh, beneficial when you have a lot of kids, especially if you have uh, car seats 
this one doesn't have it, but the ones that have the DVD system in the back of the seats are amazing. Like the preloaded yes. games uh, for the kids. If the vehicle has navigation on the touch screens in the back, they can, uh, you know, there's like a where are we function and it tells them how long's left in the trip so you don't have to hear are we there yet a uh, hundred times. Uh, you said which menus that you like to come up. I think another thing that's important to mention too, Brandon, about the Pacifica is, you know, with the entertainment package, the, the sound is a, a really nice quality. Like, it's actually known for how well, yeah, like, that's like theater quality there, surround, all the way around. So that's really nice. Um, you could actually just float up an air mattress and watch TV in the back and feel like you're at the movies. <laughs> So we're pulling back in the dealership, and we'll uh, we'll do a quick walk around and show you guys this Pacifica. So um, it's a very unique color. Uh, the video is not going to do it justice. It's kind of it's kind of one of those colors that change in the yes. sunlight. It's called dark cordovan. Um, in some lights, it'll look black. Uh, in direct sunlight, it has almost like a red coppery tint to it. Uh, it's it's a pretty cool color, and it looks phenomenal with the S package. Um, we'll point out what the S package comes with when we do the walk around, but um, I tell everyone it looks like root beer, spilled root beer. <laughs> yeah, That's there what it you looks go. Like. <laughs> it's, it's definitely a root beer color. It's beautiful. All right, we're back. We'll do a quick walk around for you guys. <laughs> Tons of space back here, especially when you stow and go. More storage on the side there. You got the power lift gate. The power doors. Yeah, you can kind of see it in the sun right there. So Another feature I like to put out to parents who uh, who have kids, uh, if you'll look at a lot of old minivans, these door handles are hanging by a thread a lot of time. Uh, you know, that's from kids pulling on it and yanking on it because they're short and they're pulling down on it. Uh, but Chrysler's also fixed that. These buttons right here are uh, one touch open and close. So you just have to teach your kids to, to push a button and you really never have to use um, the handle, which prevents that from getting yanked off when they get in it. We've got the, uh, the button right there to make it close. So, while we're right here, I'll show you guys the, uh, this is the stow and go button we were talking about. You just press that, and it takes that front seat forward. So while it's doing that, you know, you can get the seat, everything up, and... I did all of that one-handed while holding a camera, so you see how easy it is. And when that's there, how much room you have is incredible. I'm going to hand you over to Sheena. She's going to finish talking about it. Another feature that's really nice on this, too, is especially with small children, is, you know, if they get in the car and they're closing the door and they were to try to get out real fast, the door is going to stop. It is not going to close on them and actually hurt your child. Let's see Brandon testing it there. See how it bumped his hand and then went back. That is a cool safety feature here. Um, you know, you can tell that Chrysler has literally just went from the ground up and tried to make this vehicle everything someone thought a minivan should be and not make it look like a minivan because it's the thing these days. Most of the young moms don't want minivans. Um, they want SUVs and crossovers and this is a very nice change um, we just went over highlighted a few of the features I highly recommend you come out to e-golf Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram Florida Brevard check one out come check this color out because I promise you guys in the sunshine this is phenomenal um, great color and the sport appearance package gives you all the great things that you love about a Pacifica without all the bling which is really nice too uh, I'm like Brandon. I'm not a big fan of chrome. I like the darker accents. So thanks guys for watching and uh, 
subscribe to our YouTube channel and see what's up next on our on our list here. Uh, we go over a lot of nice features. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you next week. Thanks.